man, DJ. Yeah, man, I've been I've been observing your 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 work. Yeah, yeah. All your interviews, all the 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 languages I see, I hear. Uh, like I said before, I I'm envious, very envious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, la languages languages are are great, and uh, to be able to communicate with so many different people in their own languages is is nice. You know, Absolutely. yeah, it is, it is, it is. See, even that, even having said that, there are so many different uh, stories and issues uh, oh. that is flo floating around about languages, about this, about that, that you know. So mm -hmm. I, I hope uh, we will we'll have the time to talk about so many of these things. I now, really <laughs> now, tell my audience who you are and what you do. All right, um, it's afternoon here in Nigeria, and it's same in the UK, except we have an R difference, right? Yeah, yes, yes. So my name is Adedeji Odulesi, um, a Nigerian. I studied agriculture, so I'm a farmer. Okay. However, <laughs> however I am today... Um, I've diversified into public speaking, okay. anchoring events. So I, and that's got to the fact that I speak quite a number of languages, English, French, German, Spanish, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba. So got to that I am now a master of ceremonies. You can imagine somebody anchoring an event and is able to connect with the three major groups in Nigeria yeah. and some minorities too. And then he's also able to connect with the the foreign delegates at an event. Mm. So what oh, I am, an MC that's able to engage with the audience. Yeah. Wow. See, like I said, uh and you see, you 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 said something, you study agri agriculture. So and you're a master of ceremonies. Now, tell my audience, why didn't you go to school to study languages? Linguistic. I didn't. Why? <laughs> so what I did was, you know, in life, you don't get to know exactly who you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's along the line you need to discover that okay, this is, this, I actually have capacity for this, and it could be it could, it could even be friends that will let you know who you are mm. and what is you. Because I remember it's until I finished university and came out that one or two people began to tell me that I should come anchor their event, and I said, no, I'm a misfit, I'm a mismatch, I will not be able. Forget about the fact that I may look funny when we are together. In reality, I can't stand the crowd. And that's true. I couldn't stand the crowd before. But, you know, because friends were saying, no, come and help us and call you our event. You put color to it. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> For real? Because I was, you know, I as a childhood background, I had some challenges mm. that made me upset with facing a crowd. You know, maybe you, I'm in a choir. I remember when it was, I was in a choir and we were singing. I was in PT, first or second year of, secondary school or even just mm -hmm. finishing primary school and um you know in the choir there's the, the, the songs are together so you take your part somebody takes it so when somebody finished that was my part to put in my something and i'd forgotten the lines i didn't even know it was my part so everybody so the whole thing came to a standstill and everybody turned to me look at look me. at you oh my yes, god and i didn't remember what to say so i felt embarrassed the choir felt embarrassed so that just made me decide that well, mm. it's not my thing oh. <laughs> so experiences like that so, yeah. but I'm, I'm surprised today that public speaking is my thing yeah <laughs> yeah see like you said many times we don't know ourselves we're still young Okay, yeah. when we when we get into university, and I can assure you that the vast majority of people who go to university all over the world, yeah, is not only in Nigeria. 
go there, very few actually know what they want to do later I after school. It. Very few. few. Very few. Okay. Me, uh, my parents, not me, my parents wanted me to study medicine. Okay. And I applied for medicine. Unfortunately, but I would say, fortunately, I didn't get the cut of marks. Okay. Oh, la, la. So I didn't stop. I didn't, I didn't study medicine. I'm happy. Okay. Because <laughs> hey, 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 I never wanted to do that. But then my father went check, see what else can I do? Ah, he, he had a, a professor friend, Unilag. He talked to him and the guy said, oh, look at your, your, your son scored very high. In fact, higher than the bottom mark of, of all, the, all the sciences. I okay. can, can study biochemistry. Mm. And then my father carried the biochemistry on his head and he started saying biochemistry. Anyway, I, he, <laughs> he changed my, my course to biochemistry. I got in. But the same, the same way about medicine, I didn't want to study biochemistry. But that's what I studied. Right. Wow. So you're like a biochemist. Well, that's what I studied. I, I have <laughs> never, <laughs> never, never practiced. But then, okay, now I do, uh, even I, I, I worked as, as a banker, okay, for over 10 years, right? So I, wow. I did banking, okay? But then even the banking was my own thing. <laughs> See, I look at things now, I say, hmm, if I had stepped back a little way, a little bit, to mm -hmm. know myself a little bit more. Earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, I've said this a long, a long time ago. Most likely, I would have studied psychology because I love psychology, and I read a lot of psychology books. Okay, psychology, history economics and a lot of science see i'm i'm when it comes to reading i read a lot of di different things but see i see myself maybe if i've studied psychology i would have uh, maybe gone to phd okay if i did that because i didn't do that align, it aligns with you naturally yeah exactly it's what i love i like i like to know why people do what they do why does this person do this? Why does this person do that? Anyway, so my point is that many of us don't know what we want to do. And uh, unfortunately, we go out, we finish school, and we, started, we start doing other things. And we never stop, stop ourselves and say, wait a minute, what am I actually good at? And we, we work for decades. Never been, never been fulfilled, and uh, in middle middle age, we now say everything is uh, whatever. You know, we're, we're not happy. I'm happy you are doing something you love. Okay? Absolutely, I'm 100%. happy you are doing something you you love.